It's the oldest printing technique seen by Egyptians in as early as 500 BC. Tamsin Barlow's here, and she specializes in relief printing. I do. Thank you. Thank you for being me. here. <laughs> you have so much art spread out here, and you are so talented. And relief printing is so unique. Tell us more about it. Well, relief printing, I did not know the Egyptians did it, but it, when they wanted to put images in books, when books were first invented, they sure. wanted to put pictures in them. They needed to have a way you could reproduce an image over and over and over again. So they would carve out of wood. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I actually, I bet you've made a relief print. Sure. If you've ever like done a potato print, yeah. that's a relief print. Okay. It's taking the potato, you see like a star that's gonna be the image you want, right. you cut out everything that you don't want to mm -hmm. be the star, put ink or paint on it, and you can repeat it over and over again. Yeah. You can do that on rubber or potatoes or wood, or I use linoleum. So kind of similar to a stamp? It's a stamp. It's a it's a it's a fancy stamp. Yeah, every artist out there who does these is like, oh, she called us a stamp, but uh -huh. it's a stamp. Oh, okay, don't say it's, it's a, a stamp. <laughs> okay, there's drama with that. It's a stamp. <laughs> it's a fancy stamp. And so how did you get started with this? You know, I am a person. I do like to read, and I always was attracted to those little images at the beginning of chapters uh -huh. where they would have a little illustration, and they were strong, graphic, black and white images, and I just wanted to know how to make those myself. And so, this is some of your artwork. That yeah. be for purchase? Yeah. That you're selling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And some of them, like those colorful um, lady slippers, those are watercolored. Okay. Some people can print the inks those color, that color. I, oh, I you have this one right here. Yeah, I do the low stakes sort of um, black and white images. So yeah. why is it called relief printing? Because you're carving away everything that you don't want to be the image. And what's left on the block you ink up the top of it, like a relief map. If you're mm -hmm. looking, it shows you the oh, highs sure, and lows. Yeah. You put the ink on the top that's left that you haven't carved away. Okay. Does that make any sense? Yeah, no, it does. Okay. It does, it does. And you <laughs> do more than just relief printing. You're quite an artist. Aww. You are. I've yeah. seen, well, you've been here before, but also just checking out your website. You're busy. Yeah. yeah. You're constantly I'm working full away. full time now. I've retired from teaching at the YMCA, go YMCA, yeah. about like five, six, I don't know how many years ago. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't do time. And I wanted to be a full-time artist. So that's what I do, full-time. And now you're doing that. People can buy yeah. your art. Do you do any teaching? I d have. Okay. I have. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about the materials a little bit? Absolutely. We, yes. Yes. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Well, anyway. Yeah. We have a spread here. We have a spread here of some of your works. And you can print on, you can make cards, you can make t-shirts. It's a really versatile. So you made this t-shirt? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, lot, that's very detailed. Yeah, <laughs> and that is something I would not recommend you doing when you're first starting. Right, when like, you're beginning. Don't be fiddly. Get low stakes, easy image. That's how you would, should, should start with this. And then when you color it. It's just watercolor. Just watercolor. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what do you need if you okay. want to start relief printing? All right, it's a nice low bar because it's not very expensive. Okay, that's yeah, good. The, the, whoop, we'll scoot it over here. It's linoleum block printing, so this stuff is cheap. Can you get it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels? Yeah, you can get it at Hobby okay. Lobby, Michaels. Um, you probably, did you carve any of these in high school at all? I don't think I did. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, usually Some people, people probably do, have, and it's really stiff and old and hard, and it's very discouraging to work on. Okay. And it comes in gray. I use gold. It's I think it's a little bit softer. Okay. It comes in a couple of colors. This is an old piece. It's kind of stiff, and it's also Minnesota, so it's always cold. Sure. It's stiff. Right. But it should be wobbly and loose. Okay. That'll make you have a better carve. Okay. So I have linoleum. Perfect. And then, so that's inexpensive. I use a little teeny shelf liner uh -huh. for a non-slip mat. Sure. Very cheap. Yeah. Then you need to buy tools. You can go really cheap. And that'll be a really sad experience because oh, the okay. tools are, they blunt really tools easily. Tools are important then. They blunt and they want to sure. be sad. And um, I would recommend getting some, not the expensive ones from Switzerland. You sure. know, you haven't earned them yet. I don't think <laughs> I've earned them yet. But I do buy these, buy packets of like four to five to six, 20 to $35. That's a good starting range. Okay. And then you'll have a nice result and it won't be as frustrating. Okay. You're gonna need ink. Mm -hmm. I use an oil-based ink. And oh, no, it's even called relief ink. It's called there. relief ink and they have these also at the stores in town. Sure. Too. But um, oil-based is really important because it's a nice rich black okay. and it has a more 
a longer open time. Okay, and then a few other tools we need. Go, go, quickly, a roller, mm -hmm. cheap little roller, a piece of glass from an uh, old picture that I had around the house. Oh, yeah, okay. The Just ink is already frame. rolled out on it. <laughs> okay. Always keep the roller sto stored up. It will get a dent on it. Okay. And um, printing paper, not from your computer printer. It has to be, this is also cheap, but What's it's much more it? absorbent. Thicker? It's not necessarily thicker, it's just more absorbent. It's made. Okay. What is it called? It's just called. Sketch pad? That's this is sketchy? a sketch pad. This okay. is Japanese, but it, uh, it doesn't have what's called the sizing in it, which makes the print, uh, the, pa the paper glossy and sure. it, it resists the ink. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want the paper that's really absorbent. So it's inexpensive hand printing paper. And the most important tool you are going to need spoon? a wooden spoon. This that's is the most important. This is okay. the most important tool. You don't need a fancy press. So we now have the tools that we need. We're going to take a commercial break. Yep. We're going to come back, yep. and then we'll get back to the process of digging out here. Okay? Perfect. We're doing some relief printing. Looking forward to it. <laughs>